Well, I've been working really hard today. I must have five hours in already. Um, since 8 a.m., no nap. Okay, I did take a nap. <laughs> I took a two-hour nap today, between two and four. And then, um, here we are. All right, look at that. That is a thing of beauty. Oh, my God. Three weeks to that. Mind you, I'm putting like four hours a day in and kind of like duty at that. So, yeah, so it is what it is. I am who I am. You know, I'm self-employed. I, <laughs> I don't have a mortgage. I don't have a car payment. The insurance on that is $45 a month. The insurance on this is, what is it, $50 a month? Now, the insurance on the taco truck, which is in California, is $140 a month because it's got full coverage. But look at that. Oh, my God. Hardest part was this right here. Holding that up with my knee and keeping it in place. Well, I, I just, it's just a spot weld. Held that up. And then, uh, then I got another, that's when I get up there. I know, right? Been talking long. And then once I got that in place, my next objective was to put a couple of tack welds in to ensure, because at this point I still had to hold it up over here some. So I, I got me a quick tack weld in there and a quick tack weld in there. And then I started attacking the monstrosity of this project. Um... I did have to fill this in right here because this, yeah, there's something not right with the triangulation on this. And um, at this point, I'm just have to forge forward. Um, I I had to quit welding because the welding torch got too hot to to even hold. When it gets so hot, you gotta you gotta quit. It's just the universe telling you, you know, hey, you need a break. And, um, yeah, this is it right here. Right here is where I'm going to... Now, all this would be painted white. I'm going to grind all these welds down flat. Um, I had to put this angle on right here in because it doesn't fit securely at the top. And it also doesn't... I, I got to find some filler for that, too. I I'll find something to wedge under there. And uh, I might just put, I've got some, I've got some, um, there's a piece right here. I'll, I'll cut that custom fit to, um, that's about four inches right there. And then, uh, there's two inches I'll double stuff. I got another piece of two or scrap around here from some cuts. Yeah, we're forging on forward here. No pun intended. I'll take a a wire wheel of that, get that rust off before I um, continue forward with that because I don't want it rusting from the inside of the paint. Looking good, looking good. Oh yeah, right here is where I'm going to put the um, um, DOT tape. I'll, I'll get some of that off. I think it's four inches. Could be six inches. I'll get some four inches just for that. I, I, I've got, I can get this right here. But I don't think that's as extravagant as the, as the fire truck type. Fire truck type. <laughs> wow, I've been talking long. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long day. We're, um, looking at the level here, mostly level here, maybe a degree or two off, but it's never, it's never going to be perfectly level when it's driving down the road. We're going up hills and down hills and all kinds of other stuff. So right here, I'm going to have to, it's making contact up to here and, uh, I might have to just fill that in with welder right there. That's that's 
again, I do have some scrap pieces around here just laying around. Right, right here is um. Well, no, I use those already. But hey, yeah, I got more. There's there's a good scrap piece right there. I can uh chuck that right under there. Yep, that fits right just right. If it's just right, then um, I'll, uh, I'll cut that, and then what fits under there fits under there. I'll probably just come back with the grind with the cutting wheel and just cut it off, weld it in there, and then cut this off later on. I think it's a lot better than trying to hold it. Uh, I do have a clamp. I can clamp it down there. Same thing with this over here. I'll find some... It's fucking hot. God bless. Oh, uh, that's another reason I gotta... Take a break from this. Um, warp control. No, not that kind of warp control. We're not going... This isn't space balls. We're not going plaid. Yep, there we are. Then uh, I'll I'll put a piece up there vertically and over, and then I'll have straps that come over here with a hinge here and a hinge here. And uh, I think I got a line out here. Here they were here, here they are. And then this is where that comes up through there. Right about there, like that. I'll weld that to there. And then I'll have this rubber mat to put underneath that strap as a cushion. And I'm also going to, um, I've got some sheet steel to lay over this and make it a, a tray. And then I'll, I'll put a piece of angle iron here to finish the effect of it being a tray so that the thing can't skew left or right. It'll keep the cont wheels contained into a tray. It will create a lit like. So if it does bounce and um, you get some type of movement, that um, angle iron will keep that in there. And um, there's the two pieces. I bought them right here just for that today. And then uh, I'll, I'll finish. A, there'll be a tray across the back and then a tray across the front as well right here, just like that. And then I'll put, um, I'll cut some strap for uh, around that, um, the um, straps that go across it and down so that even that I don't care about the appearance of it, I don't want the damage either because um, those straps over time would wear down into the gas tank and maybe spark and cause an explosion. And not good. Safety is my middle name. I did grow up working in circuses. Safety is the penultimate. Got a little bit of a weld splatter right there from where I just freshly painted it. I guess I'll have to just wait till that's all the welding is done and then uh, clean that up the best I can. That might just be... Um, I'll just have to cover it up as best I can. Whatever is uh, not behind... Uh, a, a weld or, or a structural member or, or whatever is behind a structural member will be covered and not need to be painted and then anything that side of it I can repaint but yeah I'm really stoked I am so fucking happy I got this together um, again this is light years ahead of This, this and a <laughs> eighth inch, four inch U-bolt is what I had with that generator right there just hanging on the bumper because there was virtually no overhang. So that the, the bumper was 11 inches, which is about a foot. 
and that's all the overhang there was and this thing only weighs like 85 pounds so this much overhang is virtually nothing so i had a u-bolt there u-bolt there and one on the other side never had any problem with it and any rendition of ice cream truck i've ever operated and this is number three right here this is my third truck my second truck was a money pit and ended up not ever working i actually took it to the scrapyard i mean, it, it was just a fucking money pit it was a international unit i paid twelve hundred dollars i bought it from a friend of a friend and uh, i thought i was gonna be able to to no 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 <laughs> It was just a fucking money pit, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I, I skipped that one. So now, we're also looking at this. Here, Here's my supports right here. I don't know if I mentioned. I did. I did. I mentioned this several times. I'm going to have to cut some holes in here to make this mount up a little bit more better. It's not flat there. I could do that. But then that compromises that angle over there. It was measured for me mounted right there. Right there's my problem. I need to finish that bevel on out. Let, see that? Can you see that? That cut's not right. So it's interfering with the flush fit. I got way too much gap there because of that gap right there. There it is, right there. The point is touching needs to be cut off. The angle needs to be extended out. Let me see this other one. I've got, okay, that's one side. Details, details, details. Details are very important. <clears throat> yeah, and I got pretty much the same thing going here. I gotta finish that cut out. See? Because that's not where it's supposed to be at. It's supposed to be right there. And then I need to cut it square out. I gotta play with this. I gotta finish this. Um, yeah, but right there is a the basic concept. Even though this is probably stiff enough in its own, I don't want this lever arm here to ever be able to pull that up. And that's that's the biggest part of this to so keep that mounted there and not on the highway when i'm driving so i'm going to go inside and drink me some more chai tea and what i'm did i mention that i'm excited oh my god I never thought this would be this big of a thing. But that's a pretty fucking big generator. It's 275 pounds. I'm guessing this piece right here probably weighs about 95. No, yeah, about 95 pounds. Because it, it took me a little bit to lift that up there. I, I don't think I could. Well, I could, but, you know, I don't want to strain my pee-pee. Yep. I got my uh, rubber piece removed. That's another step closer to having this area prepped right here for my. And I did get a metal cutting wheel. Those um, fiber cutting wheels are fucking crap. Oh my god, they're craptastic. They they, you make. For example, I think I went through a cutting wheel, making this. The two of these. 
the uh, metal cutting wheel does cost eighteen dollars, but I think I with just the cuts I made alone, it's it's more than paid for itself in the in, in the ability to not getting eaten alive by it's not as consumable. Keyword in the welding industry is consumable. Consumables. Oh wow. I, I should have had this done this morning. I, I, I've screwed this entire weekend for making ice cream money. Oh. So, I got other plans. I got I got contingencies. I do. I'm gonna have to pawn this again. <laughs> I, in other words, give myself a loan of eighteen hundred dollars for this. The um the interest on that's one hundred and fifteen dollars. Is it a high interest loan? Probably. It's like I don't know. Do the math. Five percent, seven and a half, eight nine percent. Thing is, I'll have the money I need for the ice cream to um. Fill up both of those freezers. I already filled up the tank with fuel today. Fill that up. And then um, have a $600 bank and, and, and more money to, to roll on uh, that week. Now, I saw a building I wanted to get replace these. I want to replace these buildings. I want to cut that tree down there and that tree down right there and about five other trees right there and I think I can pull about $15,000 revenue out of those which in the meanwhile that building's in the way to, to fell those trees um, they're they're both oak I think uh, no nope no pine I have no pine trees here If um, there's, now there's a couple other trees over here. I'm not just ballparking. I'm spitballing at this. Um, I might be able to get thirty-five hundred dollars for this building right here. And there's two trees over here. I'm thinking I might be able to get twenty-five thousand dollars worth of 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 money out of this lumber. Um, I'll go out and buy a five thousand dollar sawmill and then go to the local community college and take the course on grading lumber and get my certification for grading lumber and I'll, I'll cut these trees up and make lumber out of them and then um, I'll sell it I'll sell it on the fucking open marketplace and then um oh yeah um I found a metal building source where I can build a building bigger than that. Um, this is um, 40 by 20. Uh, the building I'm looking at is 30 by 70. And then I, I would lay... Um, a, pa a concrete pad with all my electric conduits in place. Um, but I think I, I might just use this one for the for the concrete fa uh, factory to begin with. Um, oh, the cost of the building is thirty thousand dollars. I, I would. It's only twelve feet tall, so I would gladly pay. I don't know, fifteen thousand more, or whatever it costs to make it twenty feet tall, so that I could potentially. Um, pull a big rig, big rig in there and um work on it and maybe maybe increase the other dimensions from 30 to 40 um my land goes about 150 feet more that way and then well from from there to there is 275 feet so i definitely have enough room and then uh I got, let's see, it's from there to here is about 60 feet. I got about 75 more feet that way. And um, from what my neighbor was telling me, I have even more than that. 
from he showed me the property pins and he's been living over there for about 10 years and um my land goes all the way to that shed right there that little shed right there so yeah i got more than enough to take care of this see i think i can i think i can pull enough out of the out of the trees in this building um to more than amply at least make a substantial de dent into putting that there and then um whatever else i can do from ice cream truck uh, taco wagon um, making balloons in huge festivals uh, now the idea with the balloons is i'll stand right out here in front of here while some chicken uh, some hot chicken bikini is up there selling ice cream as an additional draw i've done twenty thousand dollars in 10 days with balloons alone so imagine if i had this behind me at a huge festival with frozen bottled water cold red bull all, all the red bulls all all the um monster drinks full list of ice cream and then um eventually have a taco truck next to it which i think the taco truck i'll put this on a trailer and then pull a taco truck behind it and just stay in a hotel i gotta get a hold of my former associates at Feld Entertainment and uh, make them lucrative deal to come assist in the process and share in profits. Yeah, that's where we're at right now. I'm going to go inside and well, I've been yakking for 20 minutes. I think this should cool about an hour or so. So I might come back out here. Might not. I might, I might be done for the night. I'm not sure. I might regroup tomorrow. I've got all weekend. It's not like I'm going to go anywhere and make any money. Um, of course, tomorrow is Friday. Or oh, God, today is Friday. Today is Friday. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I have some balloons, but again, I think we went through that. Here, here's another piece of angle iron I could stuff under um, that big piece over there. And I can, uh, see right there, I got a piece right there to cover this piece over here. And then, uh, I'll, I'll stick that, I'll cut that custom piece over there for that. And then, uh, well, that, that doesn't need as much over here as, as that over there. And now uh, we will get her done. We will. And then, uh. Once it's ready, the hard part is going to be to, uh, I can't lift that by myself. I'll have to go to Home Depot or Lowe's and find somebody who wants to make $20 real quick to, you know, hey, put, help me put this on there and I'll give you $20 to, to put that here with all the gadgets ready. And then, um, yeah, I got probably another six or seven hours to go on this realistically. So I'm not going to finish tonight, but I did. A, I, I got the good part done. I got it in place and more than tacked. It's more than amply tacked on there. So I have that weld completely done. That one's not. I got a good pass right here with some filler. I might have to hit that in a little bit. More concerned about this side right over here being the. This side could be completely empty. Is this right here that's going to be holding that from get it lift, getting lifted up from this huge lever arm right here. Which again is why I have the supports right there. To redistribute the weight from here back down to the bumper and support it. There we go. I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to have... Go in here and wash my face a little bit. And then uh, re regroup and see where I'm going to go with all this uh, for the night. Uh, again, I might be done. I'm not sure. But hey, peace. Later.